guys, welcome to this 40 minute full body dumbbell workout. We're gonna jump right in with a warm up. We're gonna start with a lunge stretch. So start in a plank position on your hands and then bring your left foot up to the outside of your hands. Keep your hips square to the ground and your back leg straight. And you're gonna reach your right hand up to the ceiling. Bring that right hand back down to the ground and then switch hands, bring your left hand up to the sky. Remember to keep your hips square and that back leg straight. Sink your hips as low towards the ground as you can. You should feel a nice stretch in your hip flexor. Good job, now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So come back to a plank position on your hands and then bring your right leg forward to the outside of your hands, reaching your left leg up first to the sky. Keep your hips square, back leg straight, sinking your hips down toward the ground. Great job, now switch hands, bring that left hand down to the ground and the right hand up. Good job with that. Go ahead and stand up and we're gonna do some jumping jacks. Next up, we're gonna do some body weight squats. Keep your back flat and squat down as low as you can. Job. and we're just gonna finish off this warm-up with some cross-body arm swings. Awesome job, take a short rest. And then we're gonna start with a squat press for 30 seconds. Get your dumbbells ready, hold them up by your shoulders, squat down and use the momentum from your legs to push the dumbbells overhead as you come back to standing. Then repeat, bring the dumbbells down to your shoulders, squat down and push overhead. We're gonna go straight from the squat press into mountain climbers, also for 30 seconds. So get ready for that. And set down those dumbbells straight into the mountain climbers. Here we go, 30 seconds. We're only doing one set of this for now and we're gonna intersperse these throughout the workout. Make sure your shoulders are directly over your wrists and go at your own pace. All right, get ready for the first exercise in this first set. We're gonna start with a plank row, push-up, and two plank jumping jacks. Here we go. 
So start in a plank position with your hands on your dumbbells. And then you're going to row up one side and then the other, elbow to the ceiling. Then do a push up if you can, or you can do it from your knees instead. And then we're gonna do two plank jumping jacks, both feet jump out and in. Then back to the beginning. Row up, elbow to the ceiling, hand to your rib cage on either side, optional push up, and two plank jumping jacks. Great job, rest for a few seconds. The other exercise in this set is going to be a burpee jumping V bent over row. Get your dumbbells ready, here we go. Starting with a burpee. Pop back into a plank position. Optionally, you can do a push up. Do a jumping V, so both feet hop up to one side as close to your hands as you can get them, then back to a plank and then up to the other side. Hop them both forward again and stay in this bent over position with your back super flat, rowing up to your rib cage, then back down to the ground for another burpee. Awesome job with that. Take another short rest. We're going back to the first exercise, the plank row, push up, and two plank jumping jacks. Okay, here we go. Rowing up one side, then the other. Push up from your knees or from your feet. Then hop both feet out to the sides and in twice. Job with round two of that. Get ready for the burpee jumping V bent over row coming up next. So make sure your back is super flat for this exercise at all times. Jump back into a plank, optional push up from your knees or from your feet, jumping V. Both feet jump up to one side of your body, back to a plank, up to the other side and back. Hop forward, keep your back flat, and we're doing a bent over row. Just row those dumbbells up and then straight back down to the ground for the next rep.
Great job. Round two is over. We only have one set of each of these left to go. I know these are really cardio intensive, but you got this. Keep it up. One more round, starting with the plank row push-up and two plank jumping jacks. Here we go. Great job, you're finished with that. We just have one more of the burpee, jumping V, and bent over row. Stay strong through these compound exercises. They can be exhausting, but these are what are gonna burn the most calories and give you the most bang for your buck. Job. We're taking a really short rest and getting into the squat press and mountain climber combo again. 30 seconds of each, starting with the squat press. Get ready. Dumbbells by your shoulders, squatting low, and then pushing those dumbbells overhead using the momentum from your legs. Bring your dumbbells back to your shoulders before squatting again. And moving straight into the mountain climbers from here, 30 seconds. Keep your shoulders directly over your wrists. Don't move them too far backwards. Center your weight and go at your own pace. Try to take deep breaths in and out. Okay, great job with that. We're moving into our second set and we're gonna start the set off with lateral hops. So if you have a pen or just a line in the ground, great. If not, just use an imaginary line and we're gonna hop from one side to the other over that line. We're here for 60 seconds. Make sure you're jumping all the way over that line. Big jumps from one side to the other.
Okay, no rest in between these exercises. Next, we're going into the forward lunge with a bicep curl. We're starting on our left side, so that left leg is gonna come forward, and we're gonna curl those dumbbells up, and then come back to standing. Great job. Next, moving into a side lunge on the right side. So the right leg steps out into a lunge and we're going to raise the dumbbells with straight arms in front of us. Okay, and we're gonna finish off this round with some plank reverse flies. So we're getting back into a plank position with our hands on the dumbbells. And we're gonna do all on one side first and then the other. So start with whichever side you think is the weaker side. And with just a slight bend in your elbow, you're gonna raise that dumbbell out to the side and bring it back down to a plank. We're doing 30 seconds on each side. If at any point this gets too difficult, you can just hold a plank. But do your best to lift that dumbbell out to the side and bring it back down. Keep your shoulders and hips square to the ground. Good job, and we're gonna switch sides. 30 seconds, same thing, reverse fly on the other side. Again, if it gets too difficult at any point, just hold a plank position, but try to get that dumbbell out to the side, hips and shoulders square, and then back down. We have just a few more seconds of this, and then we're getting back into the lateral hop. So this is gonna be round two, and we're gonna even out those lunges in this set as well. Here we go, 60 seconds. Stand up, get that imaginary line or a pen or whatever you have available and hop big steps from side to side over that line. few more seconds here and then we're gonna go straight into the lunges so now we're doing forward lunges on our right side so the right leg is stepping forward and while we're down in the lunge we're gonna do that bicep curl Next, we're going straight into a side lunge on the left side. And while we're lunging down to the left side, we're lifting those dumbbells with straight arms out in front of us. Make sure you're keeping your back flat for this. Raising the dumbbells out in front of you will allow you to sink further back into the squat, stay a little bit more upright, and get lower in the lunge.
great job with that. And we're gonna finish off the set again with those plank reverse flies. Come down to the ground in a plank position. Start with that weaker side, whichever side that is for you. Keeping your arms straight, but soft at the elbow. Lifting straight out to the side, keeping your hips and shoulders square to the ground. Make sure you maintain that strong plank position with your abs tight, one straight line from head to toe. Good job, and let's do the same thing on the other side. All right, guys, one more round. Starting again with the lateral hops. Here we go. You're doing so good. We have just a few more seconds of the lateral hops. And then for the lunges, we're going to do reverse lunges with the dumbbells held overhead. When we're back in the reverse lunge, do a tricep extension. Bring the dumbbells down behind you, elbows close together, and then extend them back overhead, coming back up to standing. Do them all on one side for 45 seconds, and then we'll switch sides. Great job, switch sides, stepping backwards into a lunge, lowering those dumbbells behind you, keep your elbows close together, and then raising them back up, coming back up to standing. You're doing so good. We're getting into our last plank reverse fly next. 30 seconds on each side. Here we go. Down to a plank position, hands on your dumbbells, lifting straight out to the side and back. Focus on squeezing your shoulder blades together behind you as you lift that dumbbell out to the side. Great job, just 30 seconds on the other side and then we'll take a short rest. And finished with that awesome job. Take a much needed rest. And we're gonna get back into one set of squat press and mountain climbers. All right, get ready. Starting with those dumbbells at your shoulders, squatting down, using that momentum to press them overhead. Especially now we wanna use momentum because if you're anything like me, your arms are already very tired at this point. You're definitely gonna to wanna to use your legs to help out in this.
good job without supersetting it with mountain climbers. So let's go straight into those. Of course, remember to keep your shoulders directly above your wrists. Keep your abs tight and go at your own pace. Okay, we're getting into our last major set. We're gonna start this one off with lunge pulses. And you're only gonna need one dumbbell for both of these exercises, so just use one. Start with your weaker side. So if your left leg is weaker than your right, start with the left leg in front and hold the dumbbell in your right hand. So the opposite hand of whatever leg is in front. We're gonna go all the way down into a lunge and then just halfway up, keeping that front knee bent. Lean forward slightly so your nose is over your toes. Keep your chest forward and your shoulders back behind you. Awesome job, go ahead and switch sides. Again, holding the dumbbell in the opposite hand of the leg that's in front. Okay, and we're just gonna superset this with one other exercise. So take that same dumbbell, lie down on the ground and place it on your hips. We're going to do single leg glute bridges. You can hold onto the dumbbell for support with your arms, just to stabilize it a little bit. Keep your knees together and push up, squeezing your glute, get your hips up as high as they can go. Then back to the ground. We're doing this for 30 seconds on one side and then we'll switch. Great job, go ahead and switch sides, same thing. Remember to keep your knees together and push up through your hips, squeezing your glutes, getting as high as you can. Great job, we're gonna take a 30 second rest. Get some water, I'm sure you need it. I know I did. And then we're gonna get back into our next set, round two, starting with the lunge pulses. All right, get that dumbbell ready and here we go. Remember to hold it in the opposite hand of the leg that's in front. Going all the way down to the ground, touch your back knee to the ground and then come halfway up, keeping that front knee bent. Lean forward, nose over your toes. Great job, go ahead and switch sides. Keep your chest forward and your shoulders back. Make sure your back is flat. few more seconds of this and then we're getting into our second round of weighted single leg glute bridges. Go ahead and lie down on the ground, put that dumbbell on your hips, raise one leg up in front of you, keeping your knees together and push up, squeezing that glute, hips to the sky. Great job, let's do the same thing on the other side. Pushing up as high as you can, back down to the ground. Make sure that most of your weight 
is in your heel, driving through your heel, you should be able to lift your toes off of the ground. Awesome job with round two. Take another 30 second rest and we're gonna do this circuit one more time. Grab your dumbbell and get ready. We're starting with the lunge pulses again. Great job, go ahead and switch sides. Okay, we're done with the lunge pulses, getting into our last set of weighted single leg glute bridges. Here we go. Good job, and then switch sides. This is our last 30 seconds of this exercise. Push your hips high into the sky, driving through your heel. Awesome job, finished with that round and the bulk of the workout. We're gonna do one more set of the squat press and the mountain climbers, then get into abs and then finish with a stretch. Great job, done with the squat press. Moving into our last 30 seconds of mountain climbers. Amazing job with that. Getting into abs now. We're gonna do a set of abs that's really working the whole body at once. So we're starting with a single arm plank and we're gonna hold it for 30 seconds on each side. If you need to switch off more frequently than this, that's totally fine. Try to hold it for 15 seconds on one side and then switch, but see if you can do 30 all at once. Make sure your hips and shoulders stay square to the ground. Try not to raise one side up more than the other. Push the ground away from you. Straight line from head to toe. Keep your abs tight. You're doing great with this. Just a few more seconds. We're about to switch sides. And go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Remember hips and shoulders square, abs tight.
awesome job. Next, we're gonna go straight into a skull crusher to a dead bug. So grab both dumbbells. You're gonna be lying on your back for this. Feet in the air, arms overhead. Then you're going to bend at the elbows, bring the dumbbells close to your head, extend your arms and your legs out, and then bring it all back together overhead. To keep your lower back safe, it's important to keep it in contact with the ground the entire time. So that's where your abs come in, keep them super tight, crunching down, keeping your lower back on the ground. If it's too difficult to do this with extending both feet at the same time, try only extending one foot and then bring everything back together. And on the next rep, extend the other foot. I'd love to know what you thought of this workout so far. So when we're done here, leave a comment below. Let me know what was the hardest exercise for you, which one you found the most challenging or which one you liked the best. We have a few seconds left in this exercise and then we're gonna switch to a plank pull through using just one dumbbell for this next exercise. All right, go ahead and switch. Get into a plank on your hands with the dumbbell to one side of your body. If it's to your left side, you're gonna pick up your right arm off of the ground, grab it and drag it through to the right side. Now it's on the right side, so bring your right hand back down to the ground, lift up your left arm and drag it through to the left side. Like we do in the other exercises, you wanna to try to keep your hips and shoulders square to the ground and a straight line from head to toe. Also make sure you're not lifting the dumbbell up off of the ground. Keep it on the ground and just drag it across the mat or whatever surface you're using. Great job, our third to last exercise is a glute bridge hold with a leg raise. So lying on your back, getting up in that single leg glute bridge again, and we're gonna hold it there while we raise the other leg up and down. We'll do one minute on this side and then switch. Good job with that. Go ahead and switch sides. Keep driving through that heel. Push those hips up. Try to keep a straight line from your shoulders down to your knees. Stay up there for just a few more seconds and then we're gonna finish with a lateral bear crawl just for 30 seconds. All right, go ahead and switch. Last exercise, get in the quadruped position on your hands and knees and then lift your knees just slightly off the ground, just a couple of inches. Then we're walking from one side of your available space to the other, moving one arm and the opposite leg at the same time. Keep your back flat, parallel to the ground, abs tight. You're almost finished. And that's it. Great job. Rest for just a few seconds and we're gonna start doing our stretches now. You did so good with that. We're gonna start this stretch off with some more lunges. So let's start on our left side. Just like we did in the warm up, start in a plank position, bring that left leg up 
to the outside of your hands, we're going to stretch out those hip flexors again. Great job, bring that leg back, bring the right leg forward, same thing. This is a very intense full body workout. We did a lot to get the heart rate up and keep it up, so way to stick with me. You did an amazing job, seriously. Alright, our next stretch, we're going to stand up and we're going to do a quad stretch. So bring that leg behind you, grab it with one or both hands. You can use a wall for support for this as well. Just keep your knees together. Then you're going to push your hips forward and you should feel a nice stretch in the front of your leg. Alright, go ahead and switch legs. Okay, next we're coming down to a forward fold. Just let gravity do the work, or if you want a little extra stretch, you can grab your legs, ankles, or feet, and pull yourself down further into the stretch. Go ahead and sit down, feet together, knees apart, into the butterfly. Grab your ankles and sit up as tall as you can, pushing your knees down toward the ground. Next, we're gonna do a pigeon. Try to keep your hips as square as you can and get both hips as close to the ground as you can. Then you're gonna come up and twist to that side. So if your right leg is in front, then you're gonna twist to the right side. Again, trying to keep your hips square and as close to the ground as you can. Great job, and now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Switch legs, one leg is bent in front of you, the other is straight behind you. Keep your hips square and fold forward down to the ground. Great job, come up and twist to that side. So now if your left foot is in front, you're gonna twist to the left side. Take nice deep breaths in and out, pushing yourself down into the ground. Now 
we're going to do a figure four. So place one ankle on the opposite knee, push your knee away from you, and sit up nice and tall. Use your arms behind you to push yourself even further into an upright position. Great job, same thing, other side. Next, we're gonna do a tricep stretch. So lift one arm overhead, grab the elbow with the other arm and pull it and pull your elbow towards the other side of your body. You should feel a nice stretch down your tricep. It's super important to stretch when you're done working out. So I'm glad that you're here with me now. This just helps improve circulation, gets the blood flowing, gets all of those toxins out of your body, keeps you limber, makes you less sore. There are so many health benefits for stretching. Awesome job, and we're just gonna do the same thing on the other side. This is the last stretch, last part of the workout, so we're gonna finish it here. Great job with this workout. You did so good, that was a really long workout, and you crushed it. Come back and do it again. If you found value in this video, make sure you smash that like button. Also subscribe to see more videos like this and hit that bell to get notified whenever I upload a new workout video. Great job, see you in the next workout.